Hello and welcome to In Our Schools. I'm Katrina Heeman. We're introducing a new segment to In Our Schools where we will look at the curriculum and show you what your child will learn in math at the middle school level. You will notice a definite change in the instruction. Students are more engaged with hands-on learning activities and really enjoy math. Today we will visit a 7th grade math classroom at Hoover Middle School to see how students are engaging and developing deep conceptual understandings of math procedures. The students are engaged in activities that follow the recommendations set by Iowa Core Mathematics. The Iowa Core emphasizes teaching for understanding. The Iowa Core standards stress that mathematical understanding and procedural skills are equally important. The Waterloo Math curriculum is aligned with the Iowa Core and is built around instructional tasks focused on important mathematics that apply to everyday life. Students learn in an environment that stresses making sense of mathematics. They learn math content and develop fluency and skill that is well grounded in meaning. Problem-based instructional tasks are at the heart of teaching for understanding. Today, students are engaged in a problem-based lesson that develops the strategies necessary to make sense of variability or how widely spread or closely clustered the data values are from the unit data distribution. In a typical lesson, you will see Students are actively involved in all aspects of the lesson. Students use concrete mathematical manipulative objects strategically and models to represent ideas as a natural part of instruction. Students solve problems and work on extended problems as their primary purpose in math. Students record and reflect their thinking in math journals, logs, or recording papers. Students can find more than one way to solve a problem and can explain and justify strategies used. Students are assessed with formal and informal assessments and students demonstrate and explain their thinking and ask questions of their peers and their teacher. Students are expected to develop conceptual understanding of common mathematical practices, such as figuring the variability of data set because they need to develop strategies they can use to compare two different data sets to solve problems. They need to be able to decide if the difference among data values or summary measures matters and figure out if there is anything surprising about the data and their distribution. When students understand mathematics, they are more flexible in their estimation. They are more fluent with everyday math skills, and they can apply that understanding as new mathematical ideas arise. Students will learn these concepts by using models to explore ideas and explain their thinking. In seventh grade, making sense of variability gives the students the ability to interpret the results and using the results from the analysis to make decisions about the original questions. It is very easy for parents to help their children to continue learning at home. You can help your child's homework by asking questions such as, is there anything that surprises you about the data and their distributions? What strategies can I use to compare two different data sets? We know that students need to understand mathematical ideas in different ways. Teachers assess student learning by watching them work and recording what they see students do or how they explain their thinking. Students complete individual written assessments and explain their ideas. Since all of the concepts are connected, they are revisited throughout the year. Today was a great example of how 7th grade math students are engaged in learning in the classroom and how hands-on activities really benefit the students' learning of math concepts. Please stay tuned or visit our district website for other programs as we continue to demonstrate what you can expect students in middle school to learn in math.